Now, welcome to KDP TV. Welcome to this next class. Now, we are going to be looking at the different objective. For today's class, we are going to be looking at the different objective in running Facebook ads. Now, we have looked at, in our first video, we have looked at understanding the meta ads. Are you getting understanding everything that is in this frontal page? Now, to get to the objective click on the plus sign you, you see a circle at the top a circle having a plus on it click on it it will bring you to the interface of the objective now you can see it here is where you create campaign or you choose existing campaign are you getting me so go, let's go back to create new campaign this is where you create new campaign add you say what is your objective this is our objective we have the first one says engagement second one says awareness third one says traffic the fourth one says leads fifth one says sales the last one says app promotion now the first one this is where you can promote the first one you can promote videos which is engagement if you click on it you can promote videos here it has it has two kind of engagement you can uh you know post get a post of engagement and you can get messaging engagement you can create an ad for a post of engagement or messaging what engagement these are the two types so under this engagement if you're using engagement this is where you can run ads with your videos and you know page likes if you want to get page likes event responses and all that so you're going to if you're looking for such you use page engagement and if you want to do video engagement you click on it choose the first one which says get post engagement quickly set up an engagement campaign that get post engagement to get post engagement like to be able to engage on your video it's the first one the second one is get messaging engagement for instance you post a, a goose you want to sell like shoe online you, you have to choose this get messaging engagement like you want them to message you directly to your whatsapp you say quickly create an engagement campaign that get message to messenger instagram or whatsapp you want people to message you on your WhatsApp, so you have to use this second, uh, this second option. Are you getting it? So that is on uh, post engage. It has on engagement. Now awareness shows ads to people who are most likely to remember them. You are kind of creating awareness for reach and brand awareness. That's what it's all about. You want to create awareness of maybe you created something new, like company publishing new innovation new invention like those selling cars and all that just to create public awareness or a company just started newly just want to create a public awareness you have to use this second one called awareness so the next one is traffic traffic send people to destination like your website app to facebook or even events that's what this traffic is being used for you can set it as calls links clicks landing page views are you getting it most people, mostly those doing websites, to drive traffic to their website, they use traffic. Now, lead. Under lead, which is the, the fourth one, it says collect leads for your business and brand. Collect leads for your business and brand. You can set it up for calls and instant forms. Are you getting, for instance, this instant form means, for instance, you want to log into your email. The place that, that first form that they tell you to put your email, email and password, you don't want to log into a website. That place they will say put in your email and password, tick if you're a robot or not. That is what we call instant form. So if you if, if you see people doing it on their website, they use leads to create such kind of um you know frontal page where you log in your details before you enter. Even on Facebook, the place where you put your Facebook name and your password, that is what we call lead 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 kind of uh, ads are you getting in? sales this is the common one people if you want to, you're selling clothes you're selling shoes you're selling you use sales find people likely to purchase your product and services so use sales and you can set it up for conversions conversions or for calls they can call you are you getting me via maybe your catalog or normal sales which will drive traffic to your whatsapp you no know, conversion means as you post it online, it will not convert people to WhatsApp for people to call you and, um, you know, message you. People now do a kind of uh, um, concluded sales. You close sales at WhatsApp. So that's it. 
on sales. Now, the last one is app promotion. As the name implies, those that promote apps, apps on App Store, apps on Play Store, on, are you getting it? So this is where if you create an app and want to promote it, you use the last one, which is called app promotion. Find new people and install your app and continue using it. So, you know, you can use it for app installation and app event. So this is what this section it's all about this is what this particular section it's all about so go through this this is for today's class go through this understand it and look forward to the next class thank you very much